In a weird way, this is probably the classic video I've been most excited for in a very long time. We're gonna have a Trophy Lodge tour for a lodge that is nearly five years in the making. And before we get into going around and looking at the scores, I do wanna say that there are going to be clips of some of these trophies inserted into the video. If there's some weird editing around where they kinda end up, there's some that I haven't found the clips of yet, I'm hoping to still find, and uh, hopefully everything's going to flow nicely. Because the lodges aren't huge in Classic, we should be able to do that, and I think it's going to be cool to actually include the moment that we took the animal, but we will start with this lodge tour right in front of us. Now I'll actually start on the floor down here with this turkey. Now, I actually just put this here before we started recording. I did have a Canada goose here, and for a very long time, I didn't like turkeys in the trophy lodge. Those of you that have been playing Classic may recall the old turkey models, they just didn't look that good. And for some reason, I guess I kind of forgot that when they added the new models, they could fit nicely in the Trophy Lodge. So I went back, we had this 68.7 uh, turkey from Whiteheart shot back in February of 2020, and I thought that was better than a Canada Goose. And I'm still not sure what I want to do here, maybe another turkey, honestly, but I do like the variety, and this is a really nice Snow Goose. In fact, they were only shot two months apart. A 4,480 scoring snow goose that was on the leaderboard, I think, at the time that we shot it. Definitely one I do not have a clip of, but a couple of bird species there, and yeah, I don't know, maybe I'd like to replace this, but it is a pretty big snow goose. Right above that, we have one of the original editions, a 275.9 red deer. I should also say, when I say this lodge is five years in the making, originally some of these trophies were placed in the first lodge that came out. I'm not sure when the uh, Tropical Lodge released, but some of the original trophies got moved into this one as this kind of became the main trophies lodge. But because this was shot in August of 2017, I can be pretty confident in saying that this was probably Hunt specifically trying to get a trophy for the lodge, and I'd say we succeeded with getting this red deer. Then above that, a couple of my favorites, and they are a little more recent, back in January of 2021, a 188.5 scoring bighorn. Personal best for me, and... Just one of my favorites, the reaction, I guess, to seeing that scorer. I was not prepared for it to be that big. Every big bighorn that I ever get is right about 185. So to finally top that mark and, and top it by a good bit was pretty cool. I'm not even sure where to aim for this. And I don't know if we can hit him when he's phasing through the ground. Okay, we definitely hit him. And immediately, he was gone. So we gotta mark that. 107 weight and 188. That is the biggest bighorn I've ever shot. Then next to that, a 282 Ibex. These guys were shot eight days apart. A 282 Ibex. I had never crossed 280 before, so to see that pop up as well, another one of my absolute favorites. I've always enjoyed the mountain species in Classic, so to get some good ones and add them to this lodge was, was really, really cool. 282. Oh my goodness. Not only is that 12 above the current first place, that's 7 above my personal best. Now next to that is one that unfortunately I don't think I have the clip of, and I'm not sure why it never made it into a video, but this was a stream kill. A 207 doll sheep shot live on Twitch. The reason it might have been Back then, the music that we used couldn't be used on YouTube. It might have been as simple as that, but definitely my personal best as well. And it is cool to have our personal best doll sheep, bighorn, and alpine ibex all in this lodge. And we'll see for a number of species as we go along here. The turkey actually is a example of it. Our personal best for a lot of these was shot before lodges came out. So it's nice that all these actually were shot after the lodges came out. And they are newer species outside of the ibex, really. But still, it's nice to actually have them displayed here in the lodge. Going forward here, we have another recent one, I think our first that we've looked at so far from 2022, a 195.5 Blacktail, actually shot from the Golden Tree Stand on a 24-hour stream. And uh, one of those things, again, where a lot of our big Blacktail are like 194, 192, stuff like that. 195 is a pretty good one, not our personal best, but definitely one of our better ones. And then another one that we don't have a clip of, a 230 Mule Deer. Now, a lot of times when I edit videos, I'll sit in a tree standing classic, and I, and I did that a lot looking for a 200 whitetail. And uh, in this particular instance, that's what I was doing. I was editing a video, 
sitting in a tree stand on Timbergold Trails. And back then, for some reason, rather than putting my editing software on the side, I would put the Hunter Classic on the side. And unfortunately, I found out with a 230 Mule Deer that uh, recording on my side monitor messes everything up. So I have no clip of that one. But he is our best Mule Deer in here. A 230.7 shot back in April of 2020. Then, and a lot of these, I guess, are going to be my favorites, but uh, this one was special. It was July 20th of 2017. A 27.2 Grizzly, my only 27+. plus. Now, you look at the rarity. It does say common, but I had the idea they were called gray. I don't know if I made that up, or if they used to be called gray, or if maybe they were called gray around the community. This is not your typical common grizzly bear. They're usually a lot darker, and they just don't look as good in the lodge to me. So, my hope back when I didn't have a grizzly bear in the lodge at all yet, was to get this particular, we'll call it variant of the common fur type, and for it to be a 27+, plus, it was top 10 on the leaderboard when I shot it, that was just very, very lucky. And actually, I don't know if I have a clip of this, this is one of the, these circumstances where I hope I can find it, but uh, I'm not even certain I recorded it. It was like a 5 a.m. on Timbergold Trails thing, where it just charged me, and I think I shot it with a crossbow at like 5 meters, and uh, it just happened to be a huge leaderboard bear. Hopefully I pressed record, but there's a good chance I wasn't even expecting it, and I maybe don't even have it. But to kind of round out this room, we have a couple of things around us. By the way, the small game, the ducks and stuff, we'll get to that kind of last. There may be something that we haven't spent as much time on, but we have a water buffalo here, which is really difficult to highlight. 277.0 shot in 2018. Definitely not the best, and actually I'd prefer to not have it on this full body platform, but the issue is, and we'll see that with a number of things, this elk is actually a decent example. You can't really display water buffalo well in this lodge without getting clipping. So like, for instance, you see with this pose for the elk, you got some of those tines clipping through the roof. If we do this pose, his tines are clipping through the window, and then through here you still get that back tine just kind of getting into the roof. So. That's why I have them displayed like that, and that's essentially what happens with the water buffalo as well. But to uh, finish talking about the elk here, a 394.9. We shot a 394 on Settlers as well, uh, sometime probably in mid-2021. But I guess this guy being a 394.9 ends up with him being a little bit bigger, and we didn't end up replacing him with that more recent one. Because we got our 200 white tail, we'll see him just shortly. Elk are high on my list of things I want to get next. I really want a 400 in here. I'm not sure that'll be the place because we just looked at the clipping issues uh, with one that would be even smaller, but we'll figure that out hopefully when the time comes. Last kind of big game animal in this room is a 372 feral goat. That one, we were basically trying to, to hunt for feral, go feral goat competitions and one hunt, filled the feeder, went out and there was just this absolute giant. It beat my previous personal best by like 30. I had a 240, I had or several 340s, and uh, never could top that, and then suddenly a 372, one of my favorite fur types as well, with the common kind of white, a lot of them, especially the shaggy variants, I don't like, so this one being that fur type, much like the grizzly bear, worked out quite well. So let's go ahead and drop this guy. Alright, nice. So, I don't know how much the feeder came into play here, because he wasn't even at it, but he may have been like attracted to it or whatever 372 holy that's my biggest goat by I think 32 and yeah that's got us in first that might win us the entire competition literally on our first attempt we are going to skip the white tail for now we'll talk about that last but uh, we have this puma here shot not too long after the pumas came out on stream and uh at the time, it was kind of, it wasn't max score, but you couldn't get beyond 16. 15.9 something was the max, so I was very happy to get a 15.9. With the addition of the fourth decimal point, it is now possible to get a 16 plus Puma, and I really want one. They're just insanely rare, and I don't hunt up there as often as I'd like. Maybe it'll happen one day, but for now, a 15.9 is still a really solid Puma. That one was leaderboards as well at the time that we took it. Now this is something, and it's a fairly new thing, that I want to kind of expand on in this Trophy Lodges. The skull mounts. This is a 28.7 brown bear. 
shot, I think, during the Lunar New Year missions. And it was a, a very lucky thing to begin with. I just spotted him sleeping through the trees, stocked into maybe 60 meters, and, and took a not great shot with the crossbow. Uh, live on stream, worked out, ended up being our biggest brown bear ever. But the thing that I like about this is that there are four subspecies of bear in Hunter Classic. In this particular lodge, the Tropical Lodge, there's only two large platforms. So we have the grizzly bear here, and we have a black bear that we'll get to in a moment. Because of the addition of the skull mounts, we can get a brown bear there, and then hopefully one day a polar bear on one of these, and maybe a wolf as well. These are actually nice rabbits, but I, I always like the big game, and I think that's going to be the direction we go in, hopefully one day, if we can find trophies to go there. But for now, moving on to one of my favorite stories ever in the Hunter Classic. This reindeer, for those of you that maybe didn't see it, I think is the oldest trophy in this lodge shot in May of 2017. Just about two weeks shy of being five years old now. Basically, I was hunting with a friend. We spotted a really big reindeer, and reindeer in the Hunter Classic are unique. They can actually exit the map border, and when they do that, they respawn somewhere else on the map. The other unique thing about Classic is when you reach 1900, that is the end of the hunting day, essentially you have to spawn back at a lodge, and it's going to be 5 a.m. Now, as far as I'm aware, the animals stay. Uh, I think you even get respawns from stuff that you shot, but they'll end up being in a different location. So, as we were coming up on the end of the day, it was something like 1830, 1840. I was able to figure out where the reindeer we were tracking had left the map, figured out where he re-entered, and in my attempt at tracking him, spotted this huge reindeer across the way and shot him. I thought that I had gotten the reindeer we were tracking. I did not. I shot a much bigger reindeer. The one that we were tracking, I got an estimate as it was running away. It was up to 600, I think. So it wasn't even a 600 plus. For this one to be a 621, ultimately shot him by accident. It was just really cool. It, I wish that it was the one that I was trying to track because of the whole situation of him leaving the map and coming back in. But it even just added another layer to what was a crazy, crazy story. Not even four minutes. Oh, I see him. I just saw him. Get him. Get him. Oh, that's huge. Get him. <laughs> you will. Oh, there's two way. huge ones. What the heck? <laughs> oh, oh my god. god. Okay, one's gonna go kind of towards you. Alright, she's gonna pick him away. Oh my gosh, please hold your breath. <laughs> okay, that Get one's down. down. The other one should kind of run your way. I'm uh, hoping they're, hoping they're funny. Yeah, I'm running. <laughs> she, Don't get yeah. greedy, just claim the one that you have. <laughs> that one's okay. massive. Uh, it's, it's probably not a 600. This is oh another one. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> so that one that I watched run past is a different reindeer. <laughs> is it really? It's, sick. it's bigger. Nah. It is oh. actually bigger, because the oh, max yeah. score on that one that ran past me was 610. <laughs> What is that hunt? 621. Oh my god, that's huge. Then another more recent addition, and actually, I think the only trophy in this lodge that has this particular distinction. It's not our personal best. It's a 232.9 moose. It's my second biggest ever. Our personal best moose was recorded and it is in a trophy lodge, but it was a part of the Let's Go Trophy Hunting series back in the day, and I just... I want those trophies to stay in the Let's Go Trophy Hunting Lodge, um, basically forever. So, this guy is our second biggest. That was also shot for during a mission set. I forget what it was in April. Maybe the Easter missions? Max weight and score estimate going up to 245. And I brought the 9.3 just in case anything would show up. So we might as well try to take him out there, even though he is trying to walk away. <laughs> That felt a little bit lower than I wanted. If he'd ever just pick a direction. Pretty sure that hit him as well. Two body hits. 232.9. That's our second biggest moose ever. Definitely going to the lodge. The timing of that would make sense, but definitely nice to have a 230 plus moose in here. And he's actually the one that messed things up. I had two moose displayed in here for a very long time. And it fit. Two moose on either side and a reindeer in the middle. This guy's too big. The the antlers kind of extend out to where the fallow deer is. So I had to change it up and put the spice in here. I really don't love the look of it. 
And honestly, it would be fine if there wasn't a shelf up here. But again, you kind of get the clipping situation. If I were to put this reindeer in any other pose, you get the clipping through the shelf. So, bison here. A 124 is a very big bison. Shot in January of 2019. I just, I don't know. I'd prefer to have something bigger there. It would kind of match better. But in order to not clip through the fallow deer, that is what we've got. So, 171 fallow deer. He remains our best after their release from March of this year. We have another recent one shot in April as well, a 201.9 Axis Deer. That was a crazy Bushranger stunt. We shot a lot of big stuff. This is one of the ones that we were in a comp for and didn't win. And I think when I look back through the competitions, it was the only iteration of that comp that ran in the last like month where a 201 wouldn't have place. So a little unfortunate, but still cool to have a 200 plus Axis. We have a 401 Rocky Mountain Elk up on the wall. Another old one. I'm kind of surprised I don't have a better Rocky over all those years, but I've helped at least two people get like four teens, so at least there's that to kind of hang my hat on. Plus, you know, it's 400 plus, so I'm, I'm pretty pleased with that. Another one I'd like to maybe upgrade one day. And then to finally get back to the Black Bear, 23.897, a very brief story about this one. I spent like a month on Red Feather Falls basically every day going to my barrels and trying to get a 23 plus and I finally did it was like 23.0 or 23.1 with actually the day before that video came out we had the 12 hour stream on March 12th and on Settler Creek's no barrel or anything I spooked this bear in front of me shot it twice with the 30R max weight estimate that'll work decent weight 23.897. That is almost the max. <laughs> That's wild. And it's my personal best. 23.897. Way bigger than the one I spent a month trying to get on Red Feather Falls. But then finally, I don't think I missed anything. The last big game animal, the most recent edition, May 5th, 2022, a 201.6 whitetail. It, it's my favorite trophy in this lodge. Something I've always wanted in this game. I've played the Hunter Classic for, it'll be 12 years actually, this October. So to finally get that 200 whitetail. I hate to just shoot him in the brush, but I think I'm going to shoot him in the brush. That's a dead deer. Oh my god, I've never, I've dreamed about seeing that estimate. I'm panicking, same. Please be it. 201! <laughs> oh my god! It, it's the culmination of a lot of time spent in this game, and the cool thing is, it's not turned into a thing where I maybe stop playing Classic or don't play it as much. I'm playing more now than I have in a very long time. Looking for a 400 Roosevelt Elk, as I mentioned. A Rare Bison is another thing I've always wanted and have been trying to put some time in to get as well. But I'm just glad that the 200 Whitetail hasn't turned into, you know, an end, I guess, for me in Classic. But to kind of quickly go through some of the small game, because it's not as impressive, uh, generally speaking. And it's the one negative, I guess, to this lodge is that the birds aren't great. But uh, I don't hunt them as much anymore. Maybe, you know, if we get a 400 Rosie, if we get a rare bison one of these days, maybe birds can become a focus. We'll kind of see. I wish there was more stuff we could do, but these are specifically called bird plaques. Uh, ptarmigan and ducks, I think, are the only options. So, a 462 whitetail ptarmigan from Timbergold Trail. That's actually not bad. A 627 rock ptarmigan. We have a 683 willow. That could be way better. And a 635 rock ptarmigan. The, the rocks aren't too bad. The the willow's pretty, pretty pathetic. I guess that was the best I could get, and I wanted variety. That would be my guess. I mean, this is... What? three plus years ago when we added those, which tells you how much I hunt birds since I haven't replaced it since then. Uh, the rabbits, as I mentioned, are decent. A 1927 snowshoe and a 1980 uh, cottontail. You know, it's interesting. As much as I generally say I don't like settlers, and by the way, I've been hunting elk on settlers. Um, it seems to be a very good elk map. We have a lot of settlers trophies in here, despite the fact that I'm not a big fan of it. But then the ducks, we have a 1265 gadwall, definitely not the best. A 1564 Mallard, that I can at least be pretty proud of. We have another Mallard at 1539. 
Pintail at 1263, again, not the best, but my guess would be kind of variety was the, the purpose in place in that there. Then one that's actually decent, a 1352 Gadwall. That one could stay, I'm pretty happy with that. And a 1546 Mallard to round it out. Probably there are videos of some of the ducks, but I have no idea where I'd even begin looking for some of those and, you know, they're just a situation of it fly past and getting shot with a shotgun, I would certainly assume, but that is it for this lodge. These lodges are obviously much smaller in Classic than in Call of the Wild, but I'm sure with the addition of some of the clips that kills, the video will be a little bit longer and, you know, this whole situation back here has me reconsidering whether or not I should use the Rustic Lodge. It's still got one full body platform where I could put the Whitetail, and it's not as crowded for some of this stuff. What I'll eventually do is go and count uh, the plaques and stuff. I do like the bird plaques, like it's cool to have that additional uh, space used. And there are no bird plaques in the Rustic Lodge. But then again, the birds in this lodge aren't all that good, so we'll see. It's probably going to stay as this lodge, at least for now. I'd love if they added a new lodge someday down the road, but at least with this, we get to display like as many trophies as possible. This particular lodge does have the most slots to place animals, but that is our The Hunter Classic Lodge. Five years in the making since trophy lodges came out, and uh, I'm looking forward to adding to it. Like I said, the, the 200 whitetail has, if anything, motivated me even more to go and hunt for uh, some of these trophies. I was wondering, by the way, if this elk was a 400 gross score. Those two stickers on his left antler are more than 5.1 inches of deduction. I'm quite confident. So that would have been a 400 elk, if not for these stickers. That's a little unfortunate. Settler's kind of doing the uh, the Settler's thing, giving you a little bit of something good and then taking a, a bit away. But anyway, that is going to do it for this lodge tour. If you guys want to see, by the way, a tour of my rares lodge, let me know in the comments. Maybe we'll do that sometime in the near future. Uh, as well. But anyway, that is going to do it for this video. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.